It's a conversation cities and counties are having all across Kettle Land and the country. When a mask mandate is on the agenda, people line up to share their opinions, and most are passionate about their beliefs. In tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, we're taking a closer look at the debate in Rapid City as residents, businesses, and doctors share their thoughts on the city's proposed ordinance. It's a scene playing out in one South Dakota city after another, complete with protesters and plenty of public comment. Registered nurse Holly Knox showed up to show her support for a citywide mandate in Rapid City. A mask mandate is important to me because I have older parents, because my family works the front line, because I have a class of 2020 senior who has sacrificed way too much because my middle schooler needs adequate instruction. Knox says she doesn't wear a mask to promote fear, but to show respect and to protect others from COVID-19. Those in the front lines are tired. Those of you who, had voted, who have voted yes or are inclined to do so tonight, I thank you. By choosing to act, you are showing leadership and empathy. You're showing that you're able to lead in such a way that demonstrates your willingness to learn and grow. Despite rules requiring masks in city buildings, not everyone wears one. But people are social distancing because just 28 people are allowed in the room at a time. Others are waiting outside for the opportunity to speak. Crystal Kessler moved to South Dakota from Colorado. We moved here for we moved here for a reason. I urge you to consider this a fight for freedom. Rather than forcing people to wear masks, Kessler says she wants her children to feel comfortable in Rapid City. As a mother, I want to tell you that your governmental policies cannot save lives. They can only trade them. Change your vote to no, please. Like many meetings across the state, the majority of the people at Rapid City Special Council meeting oppose any form of mask mandate. Essence of Coffee owner Michael Fusen says people should take personal responsibility. I'm not overly fond of the idea, mainly because it then the onus falls on us to police it. And it gets really awkward um, because Obviously, it, it's going to affect our relationship with customers. Fusen says a mask requirement would add another layer of difficulty in an already difficult time for his staff and his business. I think masks have a place along with social distancing, but at the same time, we have to live. I mean, you're talking about a, a cafe. People need to come in. They want to drink coffee. They want to eat food. You can't do that through a mask. However, Dr. Kevin Wyland, an internist at Rapid City Medical Center, says now is the time for the city to act, not only to protect people, but to ease the stress on our hospitals. We're human, too. We're getting sick. Our doctors in the ICU are getting sick and nurses. They're had, and, and once you get this population of your first responders sick, who's going to take care of you when you're sick? According to the South Dakota State Department of Health, currently in Pennington County, there have been 8,670 confirmed cases of COVID-19. And in the entire state of South Dakota, there has been about 80,000. Dr. Weiland says even if you have mild symptoms, COVID-19 can have a lasting impact on a patient's health. Chronic fatigue, forgetfulness, body aches, uh, joint aches, and you know, it's just kind of a miserable existence for them. They, they, they've changed. Dr. Weiland says it doesn't take much to protect yourself. It's all we have, social distancing, hand washing, and wearing a mask. It's the same advice we get from the CDC, but not everyone in this room agrees with it. And no matter what the council decides, not everyone will support it. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. The Rapid City Council will discuss the second reading of the revised ordinance next Monday.